In this video, I'll show you the different ways to find tracks and models. We're going to start at the member search page, and if you don't know how to bring up the member search page, may I suggest that you take a look at our quick start video. The search page itself can be a bit confusing. You have all these items. Where do you start? Let me try to simplify. The street name, the track name, and the builder track code are a bit specific. If you know any of these items, you're pretty familiar with your track. Searching on the street name, track name, or builder track code is a specific search, and it is the most direct search to your subject property. Searching on any of the other items is a general search, and it will take you down a slightly different path. Let me show you the difference. In this example, I know the name of the street, so I'll input it here. And I'll click the Go button. And this brings up the street search results page. The program tells me it found two tracks with streets named Seton, California Summit and Village One. Let me show you another specific search. I'll click on the Search Again button. For track name, I'll enter Village One. And click Go. This brings up the Track Search Results page. And this time, the program only found one track. And it's our subject track, Village One. Now let me show you what happens when I do a general search. Normally you would do a general search if you couldn't do a specific search. There are other reasons to do a general search as well. Appraisers may need a list of comparable tracks, and real estate agents may want a list of all the tracks in their farm. Let's do a general search. For city, I'm going to enter I for Irvine, and click Go. And this brings up a different form. This is the subsearch form, and you will only see it if you do a general search. Above the form, the program shows us it found 321 tracks. Next to the track name is a drop-down list. And if you click on the drop-down arrow, you can scroll through all 321 tracks. If you click on one of the track names and press Go, it will bring up a track. Below the drop-down list are two input boxes, one for the builder track code and one for the street name. In street name, let's input Seton again and click Go. And here's the street search results page. This time, it found only one tract, and that's our tract Village 1. I'll click on Village 1, and this brings up our members report. In my next video, I'll show you how premium members can do advanced searches. To learn more about InsideTrack products, visit us at InsideTrack.net.